The Three Cows. There was a green and fresh pasture, in which three cows lived, a white cow, a black cow and a reddish-brown one. The cows were kind to each other. They were nice to each other. They used to graze in the meadow together, and they used to sleep near each other. Till it happened one day, the reddish-brown colored lion of the forest happened to pass that way. The lion was unhappy. It was hungry, and was looking for a prey. On catching sight of the cows it became glad, but couldn't attack them, because they were together. So, the lion sat in a corner and waited till the cows would separate from each other. The cows were together and wouldn't part away from each other, because they knew that if they were together, no predator could attack them. The lion lay in ambush nearby for two or three days. But the cows continued to remain together, and wouldn't separate from each other. The lion became unhappy. A plan occurred to it. It went towards the cows, greeted them and said, How are you my friends? Are you fine? I have been remembering you for a long time, but because I am too busy, I can't come to you and ask about your health. Today I said to myself, Anyhow I should come and see you from near and visit you. The reddish brown cow said, Sir, your coming has really pleased us and brightened our pasture. The lion said, I have always remembered you, and have even ordered a better pasture made ready for you. Reddish brown cow said, Sir, you have really obliged us and we are very thankful to you. Both the white and the black cows were troubled by what their friend, the reddish brown cow said, and were grieved at its thoughtlessness. They feared lest it should be deceived. They said to each other, which forest has not got a better pasture? Why does the reddish brown cow believe what the lion says? Doesn't it know that lions seek other animals only to prey on them? The reddish brown cow became more and more a close friend of the lion each day. The black cow and the white cow advised it as much as they could, but with no avail. One day the lion said to the reddish brown cow, You know that the color of our bodies is dark and that the color of the body of the white cow is light, and you also know that the light color is the opposite of the dark color. It would be very good if I eat the white cow, so that there will be no difference among us any longer and that we will be able to live together well. The reddish brown cow accepted the saying of the selfish lion and started talking to the black cow to keep it busy, so that the lion could eat the white cow with more ease. The white cow was left alone and was killed, while the black and the reddish brown cows were busy with idle talks. Two or three days passed since the lion had devoured the white cow. The lion, angry and uneasy, was lying in a corner, and the reddish brown cow was moving around the lion and grazing. The lion called the reddish brown cow. The cow answered, Yes sir. The lion said, The color of my body and the color of your body are reddish brown, and black does not go with our color. It will be very good if I eat the black cow, so that in this forest we all will be of the same color. The reddish brown cow accepted and moved away from the black cow. The lion attacked and devoured the black cow, too. And as for the reddish brown cow, it was so filled with joy that it didn't know what to do. It roamed and grazed and said to itself, it is only me who has the color of the lion. A few days passed since the black cow had been devoured by the lion. The lion roared and said. Oh the reddish brown cow. Where are you? The reddish brown cow, shaking with fear, went forward and said, yes sir. The lion said, today it is your turn, get yourself ready, I am going to eat you. The reddish brown cow, with great fear and horror said, why sir, I am your friend. I did whatever you said. So why do you want to eat me? The lion roared and said, friend of a friendless. How is it possible that a lion makes friendship with a cow? No matter how much the reddish brown cow begged and entreated, the lion didn't accept its words. The lion attacked the cow. The cow said, Mr. Lion, please allow me to cry out three times before you eat me. The lion said, quickly, quickly. The reddish brown cow cried out, I was eaten the very day the white cow was eaten. I was eaten the very day the black cow was eaten. I was eaten the very day I made. With you. The lion devoured the reddish brown cow very quickly. Then it said to itself, I have finished my job in this forest. Now I had better go to other forests. Divide and rule policy. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Like and share.